we try to play together, let's make sure that our instruments are in tune. Mine is tuned to concert pitch, and the bass string, the fourth string, is C. The third string is G. The second string is B. The first string, or top string, is D. And the short string, or the octave string, is G. Lesson six, nearly there now. Lots of twiddly Ds in this section. Lesson six. There's no leading bar, so we'll start at bar five with a barre, a one, one, one. We pinch the chord, and then it's a twiddly D D. Fourth finger goes down at the seventh fret on the first string. Pinch, lift off the fourth, and the first finger's in the correct position at the fifth fret. Pick that. Now the third finger comes across onto the second string at the seventh fret, and it's played with the thumb. The first finger is correct again, so pick that. Down to the first position for a 2 1 0 chord, but this time the bass string is played with the top two strings. Jump up to the fifth position with a barre, and the music is shown as pinch, now the first string, now pinch, first string, first string. It's fine like that, but you can incorporate a rasp there. I demonstrated rasps earlier, both the ordinary rasp and the thumb rasp. So you can jump in this bar playing the 210 and the bass. But it's up to you. Takes a bit of practice. So it's rasp down, thumb rasp up, and rasp down. Now we'll move on to the last bar on the top line. We're still there with the 1-1-1. So it's pinch, twiddly D, pinch. Fourth finger down at the seventh fret, pinch, lift off, and the third finger again. And the first, open strings down at the and now open two open strings, the two top open strings, and the octave. And a twiddly D with the octave. Now the third finger goes at the third fret on the first string. Now the second finger at the second fret. And now the open string. Now we've played this before. A C on the which is the first position on the second string. And the bass note, which is a C2. Now a 2 one zero chord on three strings with a third open, up to the fifth position barry, up to the eighth position with a 4 one two. up to the tenth position with a 4 one one. Lift off the fourth. Now we did this before with a third, further down the neck, third finger onto the second string played with the thumb. And now the finger, the first finger is already in the correct position on the first string. Now we come down to a chord we haven't played before. This is a barre, so you can put a seventh position barre on, but the second finger comes across to the third string. And we pinch that chord. Now we've got a twiddly DD. Now on this one, We've got an extended 4-1-2 at the 6th position. A standard 4-1-2 at the 6th. Slide the 4th finger up to the 9th fret. Now it's a twiddly D. And another twiddly D. Now the octave. Now we've got, we're jumping on the 1st string here at the 7th position with the 1st finger. And now the third finger, and it takes us nicely onto a 4 one, two at the eighth position. Now we're going to jump down to the seventh position. Just slide your finger down, your fourth finger, to play that note. Now the octave. Now we're putting a 2 one, zero chord on again. And the thumb comes across and hits this second string now. 
octave. Now we've got the third finger on the first string. Now in the red bar, which is the leading bar to the next page, the fourth finger goes at the third fret and a pinch. Now we slide up to the sixth position, quite a stretch. The fourth finger is on the ninth and the first finger is on the second string at the sixth and the third string is open and we do a twiddly dee dee. There are no repeats on this page so I'll play it again from the first bar. <laughs> 